we're going to Hawaii to play softball and we're super excited. Yay! Thank you, sir. So we're headed to Hawaii, but currently walking to Starbucks. And it's our first trip of the year. This is a lot of the girls' first time to go to Hawaii ever, so I love seeing that excitement and them getting kind of freaked out to be able to see their feet in the water. Weather not low, very nice. Just some scattered clouds and various levels. Good visibility. It's about 80 degrees. Folks, we'd like to thank you very much for riding with us today on Delta. We do know you have a choice to be flying. We apologize about the bumps, but uh, we're thank thankful you rode with us today. Flight attendants, prepare for arrival. First-year pitching coach Taryn Mowat is a relatable and deliberate coach who keeps her players loose while also keeping prepared for success. I feel like everybody's in such a better mood now that we're in Hawaii. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh, ooh. You are just trying to make me look stupid on camera. <laughs> hey! I know who's not who, who's not getting ice cream later. <laughs> Don't muscle. Stay through. Look at Krista when she does it. She actually does her spins really well. See how her hand is nice and loose and coming through? Think about being nice and loose. Mm -hmm. They look sharp. Um, I think all five pitchers are ready to go. They've been really working hard. Even before we started practice this semester, they came back early and have been working hard. And you can tell that they worked over break and have just kind of picked up from where they left off in the fall. They didn't take time off and um, take steps backwards. Make sure when you're stepping, you're not kicking back, okay? okay. Stay here. Good height. Good. With a lot of these batters, with it being 200 in center field, that's pretty shallow. We need to take away their power, so we need to get it on the corners, yeah. especially in on their hands with a screwball for righties. You standing taller is going to give you the ability to be on top of the strike zone and let the ball drop through the zone. We're looking, hopefully, to walk away um, with all wins this weekend, so uh, it'll be a group effort and a pitch by committee type of situation. Remember, think quick snap right when that front foot lands or snapping. There it is. Your snap is so much quicker right there, and that's what keeps it on the line, okay? I fully expect you to dominate this weekend. Thanks. We're going for perfect games. If we don't get the perfect game, we go for a no-hitter. If we don't get the no-hitter, we go for a shutout. <laughs> Hawaii. Mm. 
Raven. What's that even the mean? Pocahontas. <laughs> Pocahontas herself. Uh-oh. Thank you. Crushed it. She asked me, was I married, which I am not married yet. If you don't, if you're single, it has to go on the right hand side. If you are married or engaged, you have a boyfriend, it has to go on this side. And I'm not single and looking, so I'm on this side. However, Dakota over here is single and looking the people. It's to the right, means I'm single. <laughs> Boom, showing off the guns. Just a miss. It's beautiful. I love it. It's awesome. We uh, we actually got to hold parents. Yeah, we held parents and, and just bought a bunch of pictures for our parents. Yes, yeah, so it'll be fun. Sometimes it gets, uh, as we're getting close to the start of our season and we've worked so hard, they need kind of a chance to just relax and kind of, you know, let their hair down, I guess to say. I'm getting enjoyment of just watching the girls enjoy themselves um, and really just sitting back and, and seeing what, uh, what fun they have. So, I heard a lot of the players talk about yeah, I, I, that does not surprise me one bit. Well, it's just Coach Smith is going to embarrass himself, plain and simple. I know, just everybody get your pictures. Now, gentlemen, say hookay! visiting all the way from our neighboring island of Mississippi. I want to welcome all of our Ole Miss softball team. Let's get a round of applause. search for air and sea. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. That's pretty sweet. We were just so amped to finally have our first games. That was something I've been waiting for just in the fall and throughout the summer is just getting ready to play my junior year. A bunch of new faces. Um, we spent a lot of time in the fall. I uh, felt like we had a really good group of girls uh, to be able to experience something special this year. And I've been telling our girls really all fall, there's something different, there's something special about this team. One, two, three, hey, game day! After enjoying all that the state of Hawaii has to offer, the Rebels were itching to get back on the field to start the 2016 season. In game one, they were boosted by a grand slam home run by junior Miranda Strother winning 5-4 to four over Missouri, Kansas City. Miranda is a hard worker, and for her to have that hit in such a crucial time and get those runs, I think everybody was just as ecstatic as I was. When it came off my bat, I was like, no way. Because my first at bat, I was kind of tense, and my next at bat, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get up here. Like I know how to play this game. I got to hit Coach's hand, and I was just like, this is going to be a great season. I was just so excited. <laughs> in game two, the Rebels defeated the St. Mary's Gales 5 to nothing. Junior pitcher Alyssa Clayton made her NCAA Division I debut and guided the Rebels, allowing just two hits in a complete game shutout. Now 2-0, the Rebels would now turn their attention to the tournament host, the University of Hawaii, in a game that would prove to be a defensive battle. Scoreless through four, the fifth inning would prove prosperous for Hawaii as they were able to put together the only runs of the evening and secure a three to nothing victory. We just didn't get that big hit. You know, a lot of times good teams will get on base, but they'll also be able to score their teammates. And, and that just didn't happen in that first game. I think we lost three to nothing. Hawaii is a good team. And I think maybe sometimes more frequently than we realize is the game speeds up on us a little bit. We kind of have to let teams play at our pace and not let other teams kind of speed up our pace of the game. They swung the momentum. Lead off walk, boom, 0-0 zero, zero ball game, gets them excited. And something else happens, and something else happens. Then they hit down the line. Before you know it, they got a couple runs. Okay, but we can't panic. Take pride in what you do. Am I upset about this game? Absolutely not. It's one game. Great ball game, of course. But we're going to roll with it. We're going to come back tomorrow, and we're going to fight, and we're going to win, too. And we're going to hop on a plane and enjoy our 29,000-hour trip back to Oxford, Mississippi. Right. Rebs on three. One, two, three. Rebs! We are Ole Miss, we are Ole Miss, we are Ole Miss! To kick off Championship Sunday, Junior Raven Campos put an exclamation point on a 10-2 win over St. Mary's via run rule with a three-run home run in the sixth inning. Everyone in that game, every single person that came off the bench to play when Coach brought them in, everyone did a phenomenal job. When they were put in a hit, they hit. They put in the field, they did great in the field. And that just showed in itself that our team is is packed, like we don't have someone that can't do something. Again, that's markings of a good team after a loss, a tough loss, you come out and, and, and mercy a team. It was kind of a momentum builder to roll us into the next game, whoever it might be against. With their ticket to the championship game punched, all that stood between the Rebels and a championship flight back to Oxford was the University of Hawaii. I was expecting it to be another tight game uh, where a few hits would be very crucial. But I knew if we stuck to our game plan, if we didn't make the same mistakes we made the last time, we learned from them. Um, we came out with the energy and excitement. We talk about toughness and energy and excitement and bringing leadership and to overachieve. And, um, those are, if we bring those things each and every day, we have a chance to win. <laughs> A 
Although the rebels were able to jump out to a 2 to nothing lead, Hawaii quickly responded with five runs of their own. Sometimes when you get down, uh, you try to do too much, um, and in turn you overswing, uh, you may overpitch, you may try to go after a ball that you normally aren't gonna get, and that's when errors are created, but we didn't do that. The game's not over until that last out happens, and we had a meat part of our um, hitters coming up to bat. The top of the seventh, and two runners on, sophomore Alex Schneider stepped into the batter's box and had the hit that swung the momentum in favor of the Rebels, sending the game into extra innings. I really kind of tried to slow the game down, and um, I was looking in, and I kind of laid off until I got my pitch, and then as soon as I hit it, I just prayed that it stayed fair. Right before that, I turned to Coach Katie because I was at first base, and we were like, she's been battling for, I don't even know how many pitches, and, she, and Coach Katie goes, she's, she's about to do something right here. I could feel it. That was such a great, a great moment for the game, and I knew right then that we were gonna do absolutely anything and everything to win. The Rebels were able to capitalize in the eighth inning, when freshman Ashton Lampton delivered on an RBI single up the middle to put them on top, six to five. In the bottom of the eighth, with Hawaii threatening with a runner on third, sophomore pitcher Kayla Landwehrmeyer closed the door, forcing the flyout to secure the six to five victory and the Paradise Classic Championship. Can't say enough about what Kayla um, is to our program. She's our bulldog. She just has no fear. Even when she walks a hitter, she'll look to the dugout, and I know in her face is like, Coach, don't worry, I got this. Great job, kiddo. Great job. Oh, yeah, Good job. Yeah, Heck of a day, yeah. ladies. Heck of a day. Heck of a fight. Heck of a fight. That is the new miss and the way we're going to play softball. Yeah. I am proud of you guys. That is a way to come back. We are all this. <laughs>